Old school wrestling fans, you remember the faction that had all the glory, success, and gold. Being the king of the hill, the symbol of excellence. Oh yeah, the four horsemen. Just like the saying of nature boy Ric Flair, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Well, for the last 14 seasons, the Johnson Central Golden Eagles have chopped their way and put the punishing figure four leg lock on a lot of opponents. Matney Mania has been running rampant in Paintsville. Jim Matney's turned around the Golden Eagles into a Class 4A well-oiled machine. Since Matney took over, Johnson Central has a record of 145 wins and only 34 losses. The last five seasons, the Golden Eagles have compiled a record of 60 and 8. Jim Matney's squad is looking to get back to the championship game for the fourth consecutive season and take the Class 4A belt off the waist of Franklin Simpson. Matney talked about what happened in last year's championship game and also how his program can no longer fly under the radar. Very few teams in the history of the state um, as a county team has been to the state championship four years in a row. Stay healthy is what we <laughs> learned more than anything, but uh, be prepared and, and know your opponent. And I think more than anything, we were a little bit overconfident because we had played them the year before. And I think that as an athlete and as a coach that you have to learn to respect your opponent. And one of the first rules I learned as an athlete is never ever underestimate an opponent. Honestly, I feel like we're just starting to pick up. You know, this is probably the first year that we've had big numbers. Uh, our numbers have always been a little bit smaller due to proximity uh, where we're located and there being other schools in the area. But I think our program is now growing to the numbers that I had hoped for and was expecting when I got here. Well, I think it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. You know, as a young coach, I experienced uh, what it was like to um, be the underdog almost every game and nobody looked for you. And, and really it enabled us to slip in and have some great upsets when we were flying off the radar. And when I first came here, I think we were still off the radar and we were able to upset quite a few teams that just didn't expect it. Now there's not really upsets. I mean, you have to go into every game and, you know, of course, everybody's looking to upset you. Logan High School's David Early still has two years of high school basketball remaining, but Early's collegiate basketball future is also on the horizon. Early, the six foot four All-State guard received a Division I offer this past week from Ohio University, a Mid-American Conference school located in Athens. It becomes the fourth school to offer him a scholarship. Early had also received offers from West Virginia, Marshall, and Duquesne. Now, he led the Cardinal Conference last season in scoring at 22 points a game and had many big games, including back-to-back 39-point -back performances at midseason. He was fourth in the league in scoring two years ago with a 20-point-per-game average. Logan was ousted in the Class AA Regional Co-Final at Winfield last season as the Wildcats went down 55-50 to close out its season at 16-10. With many players back from last year's squad, the Wildcats are expecting a big season during the upcoming 2018-19 campaign. Early was the second team All-State selection last season by the West Virginia Sports Writers Association. Two years ago in his freshman season, he was special honorable mention All-State. All oh, the Cincinnati Reds on how difference a week makes after being manhandled by the Pittsburgh Pirates coming out of the All-Star break. Evidently, the Red Legs, they have rebounded as they have throttled National League Division leading Philadelphia by taking three out of four. The Reds have now won five of their last seven. Luis Castillo hurled seven innings of shutout baseball. Here's manager Jim Riegelman. He was, he was really good. He had it all working today. And, um, you know, that's a very good lineup he's facing over there. And, and uh, for, to throw zeros up there for seven innings, that's very impressive. They got a good club. You know, um, they're starting pitching. We didn't see Nola or Arietta, but the, th the, the four guys we saw all threw very well. So, um, you know, you can see why they're in first place. With that, with that pitching and, and uh, you know, a nice lineup like that, uh, they're going to be tough. It's going to be tough for other clubs to overtake them. That's the look at sports. EKB TV News will return right after this.